What if I told you there's a place in the Pacific Ocean, bigger than France, Germany, and Spain combined, that doesn't appear on maps and can't be photographed from space? Yet it's real, and it's poisoning the ocean right now. People call it the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, but here's something most people don't realize. It is not an island. You can't walk on it. And it's not one solid pile of trash. Instead, it's a massive zone of ocean floating between California and Hawaii, where ocean currents trap millions of tons of plastic spread through the water like a thin plastic soup. That's why satellites can't capture a clear image of it. The trash isn't packed together. It's scattered everywhere from the surface down into the water. The Pacific Ocean has a giant circular current called a gyre. Think of it like a slow, invisible whirlpool. Plastic enters the ocean from rivers, ships, fishing gear, and coastlines. And once it gets pulled into this gyre, it doesn't escape. Sunlight and waves slowly break the plastic apart into microplastics, tiny fragments smaller than rice grains. Fish eat them, seabirds eat them, and eventually, humans do too. Now you may have heard this statistic before, that a huge portion of ocean plastic comes from just a handful of rivers. And there's truth to that. Studies show that some of the largest plastic leakage into the ocean comes from major rivers like the Yangtze, Yellow, Hai, Pearl, Mekong, Indus, Ganges, Niger, and the Nile. But here's the part that often gets misunderstood. This doesn't mean the countries around those rivers are the biggest plastic producers. In fact, wealthier nations produce far more plastic per person. Much of that plastic is shipped overseas as waste, and when it reaches regions without strong waste management systems, that's where it leaks into rivers and ocean. So ocean plastic isn't caused by one country or one continent. It's the result of a global supply chain, where plastic is made in one place, consumed in another, and leaks into the ocean somewhere else. So, is anyone actually cleaning this up? Yes, but the scale is overwhelming. An organization called The Ocean Cleanup is working directly inside the Great Pacific Garbage Patch using massive floating systems designed to capture plastic. As of 2025, they've removed over 380 tons of plastic. That sounds impressive until you realize that it's still less than 1% of what's estimated to be there, because the patch covers millions of square kilometers, and most of the plastic is tiny, submerged, or slowly sinking. Cleanup helps, but stopping plastic before it enters the ocean helps far more. And here's the most unsettling part. The garbage patch is only the visible layer of the problem. Scientists estimate that most ocean plastic eventually sinks or breaks down into microplastics so small they've now been found in human blood, lungs, and even placentas. This isn't just an ocean problem anymore. It's a human biology problem. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch isn't a trash island. It's a warning. A warning that pollution doesn't disappear. It just moves until it comes back to us.